and welcome to the KDG YouTube channel. My name is Theodora and today we'll go on a little room tour of my student room here in Antwerp to help you get a better idea how student housing works here. And by the end of this video, I will also share some tips and tricks to help you through the process. Here is the entire view of my room. It's on the smaller side, it's only 15 meters square, but it fits everything I need on a daily basis. And I pay a monthly rent of 255 euros, in which all the electricity, water, or gas bills are included. Right next to the door, there is a sink with a cabinet underneath. Most of the student rooms in Antwerp have one, so you won't have to fight all of your housemates in the morning. I usually keep all of my toiletries around here as well, some hair stuff and cleaning supplies. This shelving unit is mostly where I keep all of my stuff from makeup to accessories to books and literally everything. It gets super, super messy here. And I also use it as a bed table to save up some space in the room. The bed in my room is just a simple single bed which came with the mattress, but some student rooms here in Antwerp only offer a bed frame and it's good to bring your own mattress. I love this little corner in my room so, so much. It makes the room very bright during the daytime and it's perfect to watch pretty sunsets, especially when I'm working at the desk. The desk is super big, which is one of my favorite things when I saw this room. It can easily fit my entire computer while leaving plenty of free space for other activities or just for misplaced random stuff. The biggest challenge of this room was clothing storage. It only came with this tiny wardrobe and it fits most of my clothes, but there, it was impossible to fit my big jackets and my jumpers in it. So I got a bit creative and I went to Ikea and I bought this clothing rack, which fits everything perfectly. It's a bit shaky, but it never fell apart. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I can also store all of my shoes right underneath and it fits perfectly in the room. I also bought this mirror from Ikea, it was super cheap, it was like 5 euros and it came with little stickers to glue on the wall and it's super sturdy but I would advise you to check the wall before you put it on because taking it down I think could be pretty damaging to the wall. The building I am living in has ground floor and first floor. On the ground floor there are four student rooms with the shared toilet shower area in the middle. All eight of us share two toilets and two showers, and we never encountered any issues with sharing them. On the first floor, there is the common kitchen area in the middle and four other student rooms on the side. Each one of us has their own space in the fridge and also on the food shelves. Everything from cutlery to plates and appliances are included in the renting price. We did not have to buy anything for the kitchen besides dish soap garbage bags and sponges. If you're planning to search for a room here in Antwerp, there are three main platforms which are really helpful through this process. And the first one is Cotweb, the second one would be Imowap or Zemo, and the third one is Facebook Market. Cotweb is the main student accommodation platform here in Antwerp. They have thousands of student rooms on their website to choose from, and you also have the option to search for a room based on where your campus is. They are also very transparent about quality. On their website, on all the postings, you will see a little badge which indicates the quality label of that accommodation. You can see this and much more on their platform, which will be linked down below in the description. Another trustworthy platform is Imoweb. Mainly it's used for general housing like studios or apartments, but they have a filter option in which you can choose to only see the student rooms. Zimo is another real estate platform and it functions pretty much like Imoweb and they also have a transparency score which is posted on any property that it's on their website. Facebook Market is also a good place to look for accommodation, but it's also a place in which you can get easily scammed. Fortunately, scammers are really easily to spot. Usually, they will ask for money through weird transfers without sending you any contract, or they will use any excuse to not show you the room. Keep in mind, before transferring any money, make sure you have a contract and it's valid. A super easy way to check if a listing is fake or not is to check the lister's profile. If the profile was created recently, then you most probably have to be cautious. Thank you for watching our video. We will have all the useful links in the description for you to check out. Let us know what you would like to see in our future videos and don't forget to leave your comments and questions down below. We will try our best to answer them all.